seeking to inform. The objective of this speech it's coming. It's coming. The objective of this speech is to present a, a fact-finding report. The title of her five to seven minute speech is Stress Relief. Uh, this speech will be followed by a two to three minute question and answer period. Please join me in welcoming Helen. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. Good. You gave a great intro to my speech. What is your name again? Uh, Marcel. Marcel. Thank you so much for that great intro to my speech. Today, I'm going to be presenting a report on stress. And just when you see the word or we hear the mention of the word, our body may cringe, our heart may start beating faster, our head may start slightly hurting, or we may get chest pains. I found a pretty good image I like from the internet on stress. And so today we're going to be looking at stress more and I'm going to be giving a definition of what stress, what exactly is stress and what are the effects of stress in, on our lives. And then at the end I'm going to share some possible solutions on how we could deal with stress. So first of all, what exactly is stress? According to WebMD, like Marcel mentioned, it's the body's reaction to harmful situations, whether real or perceived. When we feel threatened, we, there's a chemical reaction occurs in our body that allows us to act in a way to prevent, prevent injury. So it's known as the fight or flight or the stress response. And when we're stressed, our heart rate increases, the breathing quickens, our muscles may tighten and blood pressure rises. The body is ready to act to protect ourselves. When stressed out, our body tries to protect ourselves by releasing adrenaline and cortisol, and it makes us feel hungry, and we might actually crave to eat carbs and fat. And I think that's why I crave carbs and fat. <laughs> I actually found a website called www.stress.org, and this is the website for the American Institute of Stress. Very interesting website. You might want to go check it out. According to, to the website, stress can affect all aspects of our life. It can affect our emotional well-being, our behavior, our thinking, and our physical health. And so I wanted to show you a diagram of how it could affect us. First of all, our emotions. Stress can make us more irritable, more easily agitated, we could lose self-confidence, have low self-esteem, we could withdraw from people alienation, we could feel apathetic, apprehension, and it could also cause depression. Stress could affect our behavior in that we could become more accident prone, we could, there could be a loss of appetite or a loss of sex drive, uh, we could have trouble sleeping, insomnia, and as a result, we could even start drinking more or smoking more to deal with the stress. And it could affect our minds. We're constantly worried. It's hard for us to focus on anything. It impairs our judgment. We can't make decisions. We feel very negative all the time. And we could make hasty, rash decisions. And finally, it could have an effect on our physical well-being, our body. We could get frequent headaches. We could get uh, sick more easily by getting infections or colds very easily. Our, it affects our muscles. We could have tight muscles. We could feel very tired, fatigued, and have low energy. And we could also feel kind of breath, uh, feel a sense of breathlessness. So stress, dealing with stress is kind of, you probably heard this illustration before, it's like a rubber band. When we're under stress, we're being stretched. And we need to have time to be able to relax and go back to our normal state. Mm -hmm. but, if our, but if we're constantly being stretched more and more, there's going to be long-term consequences. And some of the long-term consequences are depression, heart disease, high blood pressure, <coughs> you could get a heart attack obesity, and you might have gastrointestinal problems. So we don't want to get to that point. We don't want to go there. So that's why I want to propose some solutions on how we could all maybe effectively deal with stress. And for one thing, we could listen to relaxing music. 
We could talk to friends, tell them your problems, don't bottle it up and keep it inside. Take a walk, get some fresh air outside, get some sunshine. Get more sleep, this is very important because we're all very sleep deprived as a nation. So we need to get more sleep to feel better. Oh, that should be number five, take a hot bath. Six, exercise. Exercise is definitely very important. You need to go out there and, and exert uh, physical energy so that the endorphins may be released in your body and make you feel better. And I remember one time I was at a very stressful job and boy, I couldn't wait to go to the kickboxing class. I can really punch it out and maybe that's my boss I'm punching. And um, seven, to eat comfort food. Well, I say eat, eat well, watch what you eat. Eat healthy food, not too much sugar, not too much caffeine. Try to eat fruits and vegetables. They said dark chocolate has a good effect on helping to deal with stress and omega-3 foods. Do, uh, like uh, Marcel mentioned, doing <laughs> yoga, taking deep breaths, taking time to relax and slow down. And number 10 is play an instrument. Sometimes playing, if you normally play instruments such as guitar or piano, when you want to um, de-stress, it's good to just, you know, sit down and, and play that instrument to your heart's content so you can relax. And lastly, I want to say, Try to laugh about it. Have a good sense of humor. Because whatever problems we're dealing with or facing, if you think, try to keep the big picture in mind. If you think about it 10 years from now, who really cares? Does that really even matter? You know, you want to, it's not the end of the world if, it, if something doesn't happen. So you want to keep the big picture in mind and learn to laugh. Learn to have a good sense of humor because that's what's going to carry you through. And so this is the conclusion of the, um, my report, and now I would like to take some time, a few minutes, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer your questions the best that I can. Anybody have any questions? Yes, Martin. So you said that one of the, uh, one of the results of stress is that you could crave uh, <coughs> fats and sugars and carbs. Mm -hmm. Isn't eating comfort food kind of a potential to spiral into <laughs> Uh, something not very healthy. <laughs> yes, um, <laughs> if you're using that as a way to I got I got this off the internet, and I don't comfort foods. I would substitute it with more. I think they meant comfort food to help you relax and de-stress, but then I would substitute it with more. I said healthy foods, okay. foods that are good for you. That's a good question. <laughs> Sarah, uh, what other kinds of information can you find on the stress.org? They have. Uh, I looked at, they had the um, how it affects your body, and I don't know, they, they had suggestions on how things, you know, you could deal with stress, how ways to relax. Uh, I didn't have a time to look at a lot of the different tabs, but it's, I think it's a good website. Good question. Aaron, did you have a question? I want to know how stress can be a handicap in achieving for you achieving your goals. <laughs> Sometimes it's a handicap for me. And Marcel <laughs> talked about how it can be a handicap, and you talked about maybe the adverse end. I like to see how the ideas converge around being a handicap. How it could yeah. it could That's help you zero. achieve your goals or slow you down. Both. It both. Just follow okay. upon handicaps both ways. <laughs> okay. Um, recently, um, I applied to MBA programs, and I, I had a practice. I had a study. And I actually took the GRE. And one handicap, when I felt stressed about the math section because it's, it's timed, and sometimes there's just not enough time to it feel like to do all the problems. I was under a lot of stress. It really kind of sometimes slowed me down, even though I may have known how to do the problem. If, and sometimes I just kind of, um, I kind of freak out. It's like, oh my gosh, I only have, you know, how many minutes left or and, and I started skipping questions. So that was a handicap. I, I was not, um, it, because of the time pressure, I wasn't able to focus and uh, show what I really know sometimes. So I'm not very good at time tests. And so that was a handicap. Ha um, in terms of helping you to achieve your goals, sometimes um, stress helps you, if you have a deadline or final to study for, it makes you work faster. It's like, oh, I gotta get this report done by this day. And you can't just procrastinate. And so it could, it could help you, give you success in that way because you have a goal that you know you have a deadline to meet. You have, you've gotta get there. Okay. Good question. Okay. Thank you.